So the first thing to do is hold an all-staff meeting, um, whether that's on Zoom or face-to-face -face is preferable. If you can't, get on Zoom, or if you're already holding morning meetings every day, hopefully you already are, um, then you can launch it at your morning meetings. And you need to talk to the team and explain why you want to create a great environment or improve the workplace environment. Um, you always have to explain why, and I say this every time, why, why, why? Because if, if they don't understand why, what is the purpose, what is the reason you're doing what you're doing or presenting what you're presenting to the team, um, you're gonna struggle to get it off the ground or make it stick or both. So some of the reasons, so here's some of the things you're gonna say to them. We want to create a vibrant um, workplace, a clean workplace, a safer workplace, an inspiring workplace, a motivating workplace, um, a positive environment, transparent, high energy, fun, productive environment. See, these are some of the words I've written down. So these are the things you need to explain to them and say this is the type of workplace we want to have. Whether you've got a factory or a head off or an office space or whether you've got people out in vans or utes or whatever it is, you can still create a very vibrant workplace environment, a positive workplace environment. It's really, really important. So the benefits are numerous. Obviously there's mental well-being, which is a huge topic all the time. I think it, maybe it gets overused, those words, but it's really important for wellness, well-being, mental health. It creates, it uh, helps people to be more happy. It helps people to be more creative. So there's lots and lots and lots of benefits um, around creating a vibrant um, and positive workplace environment. So